Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So this is our statistics dark themed app that we've been creating. I had to put this on hold for just a little bit, but now we're back and we're going to create two new screens today. The first one is for our nutrition and that is going to be our macros and it's going to be shown in a pie chart. Then we're going to create a line chart variant on a weight progress screen. So we're gonna start building this app over time as we have been. And if you guys want to see this series continue, let me know by giving this a thumbs up or commenting down below. Again, the goal with the dark theme statistics kind of app series is just to build a complete looking app in Adobe XD, and then we can prototype it or animate it from there. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and head into Adobe XD and get started designing. Let's go ahead and start off with the line graph since we already have one here. So I'm gonna select this artboard and hit Command D to duplicate it. This one is going to be weight. And this is going to track the user's weight over time. We want to change this to progress. So that is what we're displaying as the filter. And then we can just ungroup this with Command Shift G and delete yesterday's heart rate and its icon. I'm going to bump this text up to 30. And I'll apply that to my character styles. And then we're going to change this to 222.3 space LBS. So pounds. So let's delete this bit of the graph. So I'm just going to select that. And that is also masked. So we can just delete the whole mask right there. And we have a blank chart to work with. So we need to change these values to match our weight that we're going to be graphing. So let's select all these values here on the left. And align them to the left. The first value we're going to enter in is 220. And then I'm just going to go up in single digits all the way to the top. We're going to enter the dates in down below. So I'm going to select the zero and center it. And then we're going to select the rest of the values and delete them. The first value is going to be 5 slash 17. And I'm just going to position that to the left right here and then repeat grid. And we can drag over. The next value is going to be 518. And then we can adjust this grid and then we'll adjust the spacing to push it to about there. So that's all of our dates input. Next, we need to create our line that's going to be going through our graph. So I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to start around here outside of this card. That way we can mask it later. And we'll go to about here and then we'll drop down on the 20th to this line here we'll bounce back up on the 22nd and then we'll have a low way in right down to here and then we'll continue that off the card so once we have that instead of connecting the dots like we did in the previous video for this opaque blue, we don't need to do that since we're just using the stroke. We can select the line, bump up the stroke to five, and then apply a blue as the stroke or border, and that's gonna give us that. I'm gonna move this just slightly up so we can see that 224 a little bit better. And again, this isn't real data, we're just trying to make this look as aesthetic as possible. So let's adjust our anchor points. I'm double clicking to round them. Once I'm happy with my line, I'm gonna select the background of the card, Command C, Command V. With that selected, I'm gonna hold Shift and select the line, and then Command Shift M to mask, or you can go to Object, Mask with Shape. Next, I'm going to create a circle that's 23 by 23, so I'm gonna hold Shift and drag that out. And we'll remove the border and set that fill to our blue. And we're going to position this directly above the 523 value. Then we're going to create a dotted line that's going to be running up and down this. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. And over here in the pasteboard, I'll just drag out a rectangle. I'm going to set this to 3 on the width and 11 on the height. And then for the color, I'll apply this gray right here. We'll just drag that over and remove the border. I'm gonna round this, so we'll just set this to 100 so it's nice and rounded on the sides. And then we're just gonna drag this into position. We're gonna touch this line. 
and we're going to the center of the 523. Let's ungroup that grid so we can actually get that alignment, which is right there. Okay. And we're going to repeat grid on this, so we have to start at the top. So we'll start at the very topmost line and then repeat grid. And then we can just drag down. And I'm going to do five spacing. So I'll just drag that in. And then we'll just drag this all the way down until we get close to it touching. And then we need to make this dot centered to that. Bring it forward using command shift right square bracket key to bring it all the way forward. That's looking good. So now let's select this entire repeat grid and set the opacity to 50 just so it's not too visible. And that's what we have. We can delete the chart we have here. And then we can drag this card up. I believe we have 20 spacing throughout. We do. So we'll set that. And I'm going to drag this card all the way down off the screen. And this is going to be all of our weigh-ins. So we're going to have 222.3 pounds. That's going to be today. And I'm going to repeat that all the way down. Once we have our values set, we can grab the top two and change them to blue, since that is the active day. And that is it for this screen, so I'm going to save that. The next screen, we're going to be doing our macros, which is going to be nutrition. So I'll just select weight and hit command D. And I'll name the artboard nutrition dash macros. These are the macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fat that we're going to be tracking in a graph on this section. So we're just going to delete everything here. And I'm going to grab this card and paste it in here. And then for now, we'll just delete everything. I'm going to drag this down so we have some room. Let's go around 440. Doesn't have to be exact. That'll work. So our circle is going to be 216 by 216. So let's drag that out. And we'll position that 35 from the top of this card. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to copy it and paste it. And then I'm going to change it to red or any color. And I'm just going to drag in until I'm happy with the width of the white area. I'm going to select both. And then I'm going to select this right here, which is subtract. So now all we have is this. So we're going to be using the outline and not the full pie chart. So I'm going to select this and set this to blue by default. So we're going to grab this entire thing, hit Command C, Command V, and then I'm going to change the color to red. With my pen tool, I'm going to go into the very center of the circle. I'm going to create a line going straight up like this. And then want this to come in like this. So we're just chunking off the red section. So we're going to mask this area. So I'm going to set this as a fill and remove the border. Select this and then hold shift and grab the red outline and select the red outline and then hit command shift M. So now we have the red section of the circle. So all we have to do is repeat that one more time so we can grab the blue circle, command C, command V. I'm gonna change the fill to a new color which is 3AE, 1CE, and this is green. So I'm gonna apply that to my colors on the assets panel. We can grab the pen tool, go to the center. I want this cutoff to be coming down like this. And then it doesn't really matter where this one is because the red one's going to be overlapping. So we can just go in like that. Turn on the fill, remove the border. With this new shape selected, hold shift, grab that green outline circle, and then command shift M. So we need to grab the red one and hit command shift, right square back key to bring it all with the front. And there is our finished pie chart. So I'm going to put in some text in the center of the circle, 2,170. And this is our calories that we consumed, and we're gonna set this to Proxima Nova regular 30, and then I'll center that inside the circle for now. And then below that, I'm gonna type out calories, and then I'll set it to this color right here. And we're gonna set that to our 16 size font. And we can center that directly below our number. I'm gonna grab both Command G, and then we can re-center them into the circle. 
So that's how many calories we consumed. And this is the portions of that. So we need percentages to show what percentage is what. So here in the corner, I'm going to say 20%. We'll set that to red. And then we'll just position it visually. I'm going to hold Alt and drag that over here. And then hold Alt and drag it down to the bottom. I'll set the bottom one to green. And this one's going to be 40%. That would make this one also 40%, and we can set that to blue. Now, depending on how you sectioned off your graph, you want these numbers to be as close as possible. Obviously, this is not perfect, but for a mock-up, this looks pretty good. Below that, we're going to have some details. So it's going to be in the same format as this. It's going to have two values and an underline. So we'll just grab those, Command-C. I'll select my artboard and hit command V and I'm going to set this 40 below the bottom of our circle. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So we're going to create a square. So I'm going to hold shift and drag that out. And it's going to be 14 by 14 with a border radius of two. And I'm going to set that to our green color, remove the border, and then we'll put that right here. And then we can bump the text over. And we'll put eight spacing. We can also change this text to white. And this value is going to be protein. I'm going to hold alt and copy it. Position that eight to the right of protein. And then we're going to type in parentheses the amount of grams. So that's 195 G. And then we'll set that to this gray color. And then we can delete today since we have everything we need. So then we're going to just copy this two more times for the carbohydrates and the fat. So I'm going to copy all of them down. You can also repeat grid on this, but I'm just going to do it manually. And we need our card to be a little bit bigger. So we'll put it around there, and then we can delete the final underline. The second one I'm going to do is carbohydrates. So we'll change that square to blue. We can drag that over out of the way. This is also going to be 195 grams because it's also 40%. And then the last one will be fat. We'll set that color to our pink red. Drag our grams over. And this one is going to be set to 53 grams. Just to save time, I'm just going to grab this card. Hold Alt and drag down. Put 20 spacing. And then we'll just lower the height. I'm going to create some text. I'm just going to say find the best foods to fit your macros and calories. I'm going to make this a text area. And then let's adjust this to 16 on the font. I'm going to put 27 spacing from the top of the card. And then I'm going to go over 20. And then let's just create a rectangle that's a 20 width. And then we'll just drag the text area to hit that. So we'll have 20 spacing on each side. And then we can just drag this down. Align that to the left. So then we're going to need a button. We'll just drag out a rectangle. I'm going to set that to 295 by 40. And then on the border radius, we'll set that to 10. This is going to be our blue color. And remove the border. So we'll just align that there. This is going to go down 20 from our text. And we'll just drag this down so we can see. Then our button is going to say search. Sixteen font, and then we'll make sure that is centered like that. And then we can drag out this card to there. So let's zoom out and take a look. It looks like a few things need to be changed. So we'll say wait. And then over here, this one needs to be nutrition. I'm also going to change the weight to the last seven days. And since we've done that, we have to adjust the spacing again. So I'll grab our filter icon and progress, and we'll go over 50. There we go. Actually, this doesn't make sense. Let's drag this. Let's just delete that. That looks better. 
that value kind of blended with that. Okay, so we have the last seven days of progress. Then we have the line chart. We have all of our days logged down there at the bottom. Then on our attrition page, we have this set to the day. The progress is going to be changed to macros. We have our chart, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. And then it gives us an option to find better foods. So that is it for today's design. We just created a pie chart and a line graph in Adobe BXD for a dark theme statistics app. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more yard related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.